Allez, fifi, les mon pata, ni sapile, mon sawa, moi, et mon wale, les tuna. This is a land where people, in one way or another, have always struggled. And more often than not, their greatest struggle has been for mere survival. Food and water don't come easy, and a lot of times, it's a hunter from another country who helps to provide the food. This journey to Africa changed my life. We are headed from Panorama, Kalahari area, up to the Caprivi Strip, where all the stuff that can kill you is. Life and death, predator and prey, the circle of life. As cliche as those things may sound, in this part of Africa, they're a part of your daily life. And providing for yourself and your family puts you face to face with those things every day. One of the coolest things about what I'm experiencing here is the way that the Namibian government is so devoted to conservation. This area right here, this is the first herd of buffalo we've gotten close to, but we can't hunt here because this is an area of non-hunting. The second that hunters go away, these animals lose value and they'll all be gone. And they won't be here for our kids. So something crazy just happened. Right when we got back to the truck, a lady from the Ministry of Game Management called and said there's a Cape Buffalo in an area that has been injured by a lion. We are literally driving as fast as we can to try and get there before the sun goes down and help with this animal. A terrible and pretty exciting thing too. I grew up reading Capstick and Roosevelt fantasizing about this moment. But when you have an animal that wants to kill you staring at you, all that romance is gone, and it all comes down to you and your gear. I choose Aimpoint because I know it's gonna work when it matters. And what matters in this moment is quick target acquisition and deadly accuracy. Reload, shoot him again. Shoot him, shoot him. And this animal is mauled by a, by a lion, and hunters are here to help. Do we need you to come and help us? Right. It's a bittersweet thing because it's a tragedy. You've enacted laws and, and created a system in which hunters can come here and help the community, and the animals are managed forever. Yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you. All this meat is going to go to the community tonight. You're doing wonderful work. Thank and you. You're a beautiful person. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happiness in some parts of Africa begins with death. There are no supermarkets here. And a death in the animal kingdom can mean food for someone for a day, a week, or a month. But it's blown up. Ah, good job. Good job. Every village has different needs. The guy from the ministry decides this village gets this piece and this village gets this piece, depending on how many people there are, how many elderly people there are, because obviously the elderly people can't carry their weight as much. These guys get a big piece.
Looks good. Looks right on the money. I've been laying here still for an, an hour. My knees are bloody, my elbows are bloody, and I just shot a hippo. Unbelievable. This is Africa. It's filled with fear and love, strength and weakness and vulnerability. My visit here has me rethinking my life and the way I live. Because by our standards, the people here live a simple and meager existence. But with that said, I've never met human beings that are more happy. There is a worldwide movement to try and abolish hunting here. But those people aren't seeing the big picture. That hunting is one of the pillars of the economy here. It's managed responsibly, and it brings in millions of dollars every year. And those dollars build schools for children. They buy medicine for old people, and they provide life-giving food for entire villages. Hunters create value in these animals, and by creating value, you ensure a policy of wildlife and habitat conservation. Sound conservation policy is the only chance of ensuring that these animals are here for future generations. And hunters, well, ironically, they're the biggest conservationists of all. There are moments in your life that literally change your life. Things that you think about for the rest of your life. This is one of those moments. I've never experienced anything so tranquil and so beautiful in my entire life as this. 